If you haven't used the Zipify Pages Builder lately, you might have missed some of the valuable new additions to the app. To catch you up on what we've been doing, here are four exciting new features available right now inside of Zipify Pages. With Shopify's new online store 2.0 update, Shopify developers and merchants now have more control over their store functionality. And with these new additions in mind, we wanted to ensure there'd be no conflict for a Zipify Pages user who decides to switch to one of these new themes. So now, when you enable Zipify Pages or refresh the app's assets, we'll recognize the version of the online store you're using and add the necessary code for the app to function properly. This logic is built right into Zipify Pages and no action is required on your end. The next two features available for Zipify Pages revolve around images. Our brains interpret images quicker than text, making image usage and placement extremely important when it comes to successful marketing. First, we improve the FAQ accordion element by adding the ability to include images into your responses. On Boom, we split tested the Boom Gold product page versus a duplicate of the same page using an FAQ accordion dropdown in the buy box. The result was an additional $4.10 in revenue per session for the FAQ product page. If you already have an existing FAQ block on your page, the good news is that this feature is automatically added to those blocks and will be available in any new FAQ blocks you add. The first section of the FAQ editor allows you to modify the appearance of the FAQ block. Once you've set this up, move on to the content section to find this new feature. Right below the question and answer section is the add image button. By clicking on it, you can select a photo from your image library or upload a new one to your response. The image added will have all the same great image options our users are familiar with. These include the option to modify the image, shape, size, hover state, borders, and over eight different clickable destinations. Once you've finished adding your image to the FAQ response section, the final step is to set the layout. This option allows you to choose whether the text or image shows first when the dropdown is expanded. Confirm your choices and update the page. Now you've got a more informative and visually enhanced FAQ section. Next, we've added a new way for you to upload images into your image library and onto your pages with a URL. For easy access, we've included a large upload by URL button directly on the image library dashboard. Once you click this button, add your link and click import to add your images to the app. And finally, we have the ability to save a ZP layout product page as a template. This means you can keep the design of your favorite product page as a template for easy duplication to use for all your other products. This helps you to reduce time spent creating pages while also giving your site the same look and feel across every product page. From the product page dashboard, if you open the additional options for the product page by clicking the three dot, you'll see the save as a template option. You can also accomplish this from directly inside the builder by going to the left-hand side panel's page settings and selecting the save page as a template there as well. Now, when you create a new page, your saved templates will be located under the My Templates section. We hope you've enjoyed hearing about these new features and encourage you to try them out on your store. If you're a Zipify Pages user, could you please do us a huge favor by leaving an honest review in the Shopify App Store? We love hearing from our users. Not using Zipify Pages just yet? Visit zipifypages.com to start your free trial today. I'm Brittany. Thanks for watching.